Not too long ago, JP Morgan Chase laid bare its big expectations for the metaverse, predicting a market of one trillion US dollars and beyond for the emerging space. And the banking giant has also made no secret of which metaverse they believe will be the dominant player in the space, that is Decentraland. JP Morgan went all in on the platform recently, becoming the first ever bank to establish a metaverse presence with a virtual branch in Decentraland's Metajuku Mall. But that's not the only virtual realm the bank is betting on. In its recent opportunities in the Metaverse report, the bank highlighted the Sandbox, Somnium Space and Crypto Vox cells as leading Web 3.0 Metaverse worlds. Other possible contenders include Axie Infinity, Engine and Shiba Inu's Shibas. But apart from the fact that all these Metaverses are vying for potential future market dominance, the other common denominator here is the cryptocurrency they use. Now, while they each have their own unique tokens, all of them lie on the Ethereum blockchain. So why does Ethereum seem to be the blockchain of choice for metaverse developers? Well, one big reason is its widespread adoption across the crypto market, with many of the top-ranking digital currencies existing on the platform. What separates Ethereum from Bitcoin is its use of smart contracts, which allows developers to build programs into the digital ecosystem. And while of course there are other similar blockchains like Cardano and Polkadot, Ethereum's platform is more established. But of course, the downside to this early establishment is its age, which has resulted in its slow transaction speeds and high transaction rates. However, at the moment, this is being addressed and will hopefully be rectified in the upgrade of the network Ethereum 2.0. Nevertheless, Ethereum is shaping up to be the most dominant player in the metaverse. Do you think it can be overtaken? Let us know in the comments and tune in next time to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Metaverse.